Hi, welcome to the Doctor of Stuff channel. I'm your host, Doctor of Stuff. I'm a crypto and stock investor with a background in financial analysis. As a disclaimer, everything I say here, well, nothing I say here should be taken as financial advice. I am not a financial advisor and I'm not your financial advisor. So just jumping into this topic here, there's been a lot of people asking how they can buy OMI directly from MetaMask. As we know, the OMI price or the OMI token has fallen quite precipitously uh, and people are trying to take advantage of that because they don't know how low these prices will go, if they'll stay this low. And according to what most people know, this price really hasn't been here for, for most people for, for over a year. And I, I think that people are a little bit nervous about putting their money on exchanges after we've seen what happened um, with, with some of these centralized exchanges, the latest one being FTX, right? That people are afraid that uh, their money on, held on these centralized exchanges, that a centralized exchange could fail and then their money could be trapped there and potentially lost for good. Uh, in bankruptcy filing. And so they're wondering, hey, how can I be a little bit more Web3 and decentralized and purchase only directly from MetaMask? So that's what this video is about. I'm going to walk you through it. Um, now, the first step that I won't show here is basically you need to load fiat onto uh, a centralized exchange. I use Coinbase, there's crypto.com, there's Binance, depending on where you are in the world. But you unload your fiat to there. Then what I do is I just purchase ETH or Ether uh, into that. I convert that U.S. dollar into Ether. And from there, I send it to my MetaMask. And so once I've sent it to my MetaMask, now I'm going to jump into the steps that will go from, from there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to CoinGecko. CoinGecko is just what I use here. And this is going to be very important because we need to find the Omi token here. We pull this up. We got a Comey here. We're going to pull up the OMI token. Now, this is great. I don't know if, if you have never been on uh, CoinGecko before. It provides a lot of information about different tokens and exchanges. So here we have OMI. It's currently trading at uh, 0007. And if you scroll down a little bit more, it's going to tell us a lot of information. Here's a chart of kind of what's happened over the last 24 hours. You can do the seven-day. And even though this isn't the purpose of the video, I think it's it's good to start getting familiar with um, CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap, one of these um, websites here that's going to connect you to, to a lot of these tokens in the crypto space. So um, right here, one of the most important things that we're going to learn about is liquidity pools. And liquidity pools are what are going to help us swap tokens. So just like if you travel to another country and you have the U.S. dollar and I'm tra traveling to Great Britain, well, I'm going to use the British pound, right? So I'm going to go to an exchange and I'm going to exchange my dollars for British pounds. And the people who are leaving Great Britain to go back to the U.S. are going to exchange their British pounds for U.S. dollars. And so there are what you would call liquidity pools there, right? This exchange is going to have dollars and it's going to have great, um, British pounds as well there, right? So the same concept, we need to find out what the trading pairs uh, are for OMI on MetaMask or, or just in general on decentralized exchanges. So we can come down here and you can see here at Comey Markets. So if you go to a centralized exchange and you want to exchange or to purchase OMI, you're going to need to get your token uh, to USDT on all of these. Or if you go to Uniswap, it's typically wrapped Ether. Um, but everything else is USDT. But the great thing with, with MetaMask and using MetaMask is we don't have to use that because MetaMask has a lot of different liquidity pools and trading pairs. So this OMI USDT, that is a liquidity pool where people have staked a certain amount of OMI or a certain amount of USDT so that they can make those switches back and forth. So a centralized exchange is just going to have that, um, those liquidity pools there in in a decentralized exchange, those liquidity pools are going to be locked up in smart contracts that people are going to put in there and they're going to get a yield for putting their OMI there and allowing that exchange to swap back and forth. So here we go. We've just looked at this and we know that OMI and USDT is, is a liquidity pair, right? One of the things that we're going to do is we're going to copy this contract address right here. You see these three dots to the left. 
That is actually so. Obviously, there are still only tokens on the Go chain. We do not want that token, but I just want to bring this up in case people see this. Um, if we're sending tokens to MetaMask, this is on Ethereum, and so we need the Ether contract here, the Ethereum contract address, which is right here. So I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to copy that address. Now I'm finally taking it to my MetaMask here, right? So this is just a little burner account that I've put some Ether in so that you can see here. So I've got 0.05 Ether and I've got BUSD. Um, but if you'll notice, I don't have the OMI token. So this is why I went and got that contract address. I need to go and import the Ecomi token. And the way to do that is to get that contract address here and it's going to search that. So I'm just going to paste that contract address in here. Oh, I need to go to custom token. My apologies. So we're going to paste that address there again. And look, it's auto populated the OMI token, token decimal. This is how many decimal uh, places it can go out to. And we're going to add that custom token there. So I obviously don't have any OMI in my account yet. I'm going to import that token. So now we're going to go back here. We're going to still look. Now I have OMI here. Now it's showing zero because I haven't done any transfers yet. So this is the great easy part here is I'm going to hit swap. And I'm going to select a token. So I'm going to now type in OMI. That's going to populate there for me. All right. So it definitely says there's only verified on one source. Uh, verify this token. I've already I've already attached that contract address. I'm, I'm good to go. Um, and so here I'm just going to do 0 0.035. Now this is very important because anytime you're doing a an action on on MetaMask, right? It's going to cost some ether to do that. So I need to make sure that I have enough ether. Currently, just 0 0.05 ether available right so i'm going to leave some available to use as gas because if i try to swap all of that i don't have any ether to then use as gas in the con and that action will fail right so now that i've got that i'm going to go point uh, zero three five swap to omi looks like this is asking me to verify there it has verified so now i'm going to review the swap and this is important here, right? This is going to tell me the estimated gas fee. So going back to that liquidity pool, you saw how it was only USDT to OMI. So how am I swapping Ether to OMI? Well, what MetaMask does in the background for you, which is great, is it finds liquidity pairs to make the trades necessary in the background so that you don't have to. So what's really going to happen is it's going to trade my Ether to USDT and then USDT to OMI, and that's how I'm going to get 56,000 OMI here. Now, the cost right here, this is the estimated gas fee. Um, anytime you're doing a transaction, it's going to cost gas uh, or a little bit, a little amount of ether to do that. And this is giving me an estimate. So the max fee is going to be six bucks, but depending on how the network is doing right now on the blockchain, how many, how many people, other people are using it. That could be less. So this is giving me that approximation here. So I'm going to hit swap. It's processing. And there we go. Transaction complete. Pretty easy, huh? So now we go and, and we can see that I have just swapped some of my Ether to OMI. Now, if you have USDT and you want to do that as well, you can, you can also do that. And honestly, that might even be a little bit cheaper because MetaMask had to go and do two different swaps. Um, and so because of that, that might have cost me a little bit more in gas. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please, if you have any additional questions or comments uh, regarding any explanation or anything that I can dive into deeper, I can answer those questions in the comments. And again, please feel free to like, subscribe and hit the all notifications button so I can grow my channel. And I really hope this helped as uh, 